Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another painting. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And as you can see, the base coat is already laid down. So we're starting right in with the string pull for the fish. So for the base, I just used a self-mixed light blue that I honestly can't remember which colors I used for that. I normally can just remember. I don't write any of this down. <laughs> I just usually can remember, but this time I can't remember what I used to mix this light blue, but um, yeah, any light blue will really do. And then I swiped a little bit of titanium white over top of that and tilted it around because I wanted to get the thinnest coat possible. And it gave a really nice organic kind of wavy looking effect. So that first string pull was in real time and now I just speed it up a little bit. The colors I used for the string pull are red, gold, and a dark mix of red and black. So it looks black, but it's actually, um, it's actually tinted a bit red. Here I'm just planning out where I'm going to put the second fish. I actually wasn't sure if I wanted to do feathers or fish until I was done my string pulls, but I realized it would just match the background so much more if I made them fish. So this first string pull, it turned out a little bit too faint. So I'm going to go over it one more time and it will give me a better result. I also want to mention that this canvas was actually a dried pour that had already um, cured and I'm just doing this one over top of it because I didn't like the other one at all and I want to try to reuse my canvases as much as I can. But the problem with this technique is the coat is so thin that you can see the texture of the painting underneath and I'm wondering if that's a deal breaker for you guys or not. Here is the fin swipe in real time, and this part is the trickiest for me because I want it to look like it's attached and a part of the fish as much as possible, not just like a, a blob of random paint. <laughs> Some work better than others, and you'll see me fidget with them a little bit depending on how I feel about it, but it really just takes practice. Now the final detail for both, which are the fish whiskers, or the fish mustache, which is what I like to see them as. <laughs> also I realize my hands are a mess, but that is because I had done two different paintings on this canvas before I finally did this one and really loved it. But even as I was working on it, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I had to take a picture of it and then look at it through that lens before I decided that I really, really did like it. So that's a tip for you guys. If you don't know how you feel about something, take a picture of it and look through that lens, that perspective, and it'll show you things you didn't see before. So well, here is the close up. And I really did end up loving this one so much. I love the movement both from the fish and from the very subtle like kind of wavy effects from the background. Also love how the red from the fish mixes with the blue of the background and creates a really gorgeous like red to red violet gradient. I hope you all enjoyed this one and I hope you're all having a wonderful wonderful day. Uh, make sure to follow my Facebook art page for the dry results and we'll see you next time. Bye!